Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I was just thinking to myself how cool it was. And I checked with Siri, and the heat index is 102 Fahrenheit. <laughs> I have to say uh, Fahrenheit because I think I have six subscribers that aren't in the United States. If you ever see it say 102 F, the F is for freedom. Don't you forget it. <laughs> I wanted to say once again, hello to my friends Julian and Monteus. And I have a special friend here that also wants to say hello to you. <coughs> now that we got the formalities out of the way, before it gets too hot, Let's go cook some breakfast. Well, we have a one pan breakfast with two main ingredients. I was gifted some bacon. So we're gonna have some bacon. Get that cooked up. I think I got about six strips here cut in half because I know it's gonna reduce and I actually uh, want it to. I don't have any paper towels, so I'm going to use a clean washcloth to absorb the extra grease. And I have cans of potatoes, so I definitely want to use those. And I'm going to cook them right in the bacon grease, throw in some garlic salt and some black pepper. I would have preferred to have some eggs with this. But the price of eggs is ridiculous. Boondocking with Dennis doesn't play that game. 63 cents for six a half a year ago, and now it's like $2.19. I was real happy with this, guys. Not the healthiest meal, but definitely great tasting. Tailgate cuisine. This is going to be my reading spot for a while. Nice hunk of shade with breeze coming off the water. I have to warn you right now, it's time for a horrible, horrible dad joke. It's from my buddy Gary, so it's going to be really, really bad. <laughs> I recommend you head on over and check out a channel that I enjoy called Traversing Food. It's run by Steve. Steve does a lot of MRE reviews. But I was just watching some videos where he had his dog playing in the snow. Gary said, why should you always take your wife fishing on Valentine's Day so you can get her a big bouquet of flounders? <laughs> flounders. <laughs> I, I told you to go to Steve's channel. It's not my fault. <laughs> well, guys, breakfast was good. I ran over to the mail center. And I got a very nice gift from a friend who wants to be anonymous. So thank you very much. Sent them a nice email and got one in return. That was an extremely generous gift. The clouds are interesting, guys. Did a little bit of reading today. A Stephen King book called If It Bleeds. And then uh, Wayne was walking. Saw Wayne out walking. He stopped for a few minutes and we talked. And Anita, I got Wayne to sign your book today. So I will get that mailed out. I think tomorrow morning will be my plan to go to the mail center. And I have it all packaged up, and I think it's just going to be a book. Um, I don't know. In the United States, if you mail just a book, you can get a really good rate. But if you put a note with a book, you don't get that rate. So I need to check and see what happens with international mail, if it's the same thing.
and uh, yeah, so my buddy Mark, <laughs> Mark gave me some chips to try, um, Lay's chips, but they were flavored like Funyuns, they were different, <laughs> Mark was not a fan of them, so he gave them to me. You can still see we're getting awesome cloud cover today. Wayne has a book signing a week from tomorrow at the Texas Maritime Museum. So I'm going to go to that. I think that will be neat. Here comes a boat. Yeah, guys, for Labor Day weekend, there's maybe 50 cars here at the beach. 3 o'clock on a Friday, Labor Day weekend. And, uh, you know, usually Friday of a holiday weekend, the beach is packed. People come early. I don't know if the price of gas is scaring them off or the threat of rain. But we haven't gotten that much rain. I mean, it rained for maybe 20 minutes today. I mean, the sun's out. It's a little overcast right now, but the sun's been out for the most part. No Captain Jack today. Look who's hiding in the bushes. Huh. I guess he figures I already got fed today. I'm done with this guy. No one likes paparazzi. But yeah, I mean, look at those colors, guys. I love the sound of the water. Or if you're from Philadelphia, the sound of the water. W-O-O-D-E-R. There's an egret over there. I don't know if we're going to spot a dolphin today. The channel's pretty choppy. Yeah, usually Friday, it's like a boat parade, you know. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get a decent day. This morning when I looked, it said 60% chance of rain tomorrow. But, I mean, that could be for 20 minutes, you know. Some skimmers behind me to the right. It's just a pretty day, guys. And all this cloud cover does keep the temperature down somewhat. I don't even want to look. I'm just pretending it's cooler out. <laughs> I have not seen dolphins. That's okay. That's okay. It's going to make, make us appreciate them more when we do see them. Let's see. There you go. It is very odd, guys. It's Labor Day weekend, 3.30. There's maybe 10 cars behind me at the rest of the beach. There seems to be a group of cars down here by the entrance. And uh, I'm going to have to make an announcement that I do not want to make. But this town depends on tourism. And I'm just going to have to put aside my own personal preferences and do something for the good of the city. I'm going to allow bathing suits at the beach this weekend. What I'm saying is, women, you can wear your one piece or your bikinis, whichever you prefer. Gentlemen, you can wear uh, shorts. I will not allow Speedos. I do not want to see that. No one wants to see that mess. Basically, I'm saying take some clothes off. This is a one-time offer just for Labor Day weekend, and it applies only to Rockport, not to Port Aransas. <laughs> 
Guys, if you're coming to Rockport this weekend, please be safe, be smart, watch out for little kids, try not to do anything stupid. We have a very nice jail here, but I don't want you to visit it. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Truck. What kind of palm tree is that? Thanks for watching.